As the Constable of the Tower of London, uh, I'm the Queen's representative within this Royal Palace Fortress of this Tower of London. And I'm the 159th Constable. William the Conqueror appointed the first. It was an unbroken line from the number one to number 159. Duke of Wellington, the Iron Duke, was number 137. I took over as Constable on the 1st of August 2009. Uh, actually, at the time, I was still Chief of the General Staff. I didn't retire from the Army until the 28th of August. Uh, 2009, so um, I was double hatting for the first month, but um, I've been here for seven years and it's been quite tremendous. Well, I think the highlight of my time as Constable was when Her Majesty the Queen came to the Tower of London on the 16th of October 2014. Now, she came to attend a service of rededication of the chapel after we'd raised a million and three quarter pounds to refurbish it and to secure the future of the choir in particular. But of course, the date that she came was midway through the poppies in the moat blood swept lands and seas of red. So we had this wonderful moment of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh in the, in the poppies before she then came into the tower to attend the service. And I think the thing that I found most moving about that was on her Christmas Day message that year. Because in the short clip in that little programme, there was she and the Duke, the Queen and the Duke in the poppies. And I thought, I think we've done something right here. I'm going to miss the people. Um, Yes, I know we have a better part of three million visitors who come between nine in the morning and quarter to six in the evening. But at quarter to six, it's a great privilege to be here in this little community of about 125 people. Um, the constable, of course, the governor, the deputy governor, the chaplain, the doctor, the yeoman warders and their families. And it's a great privilege to be part of this community and all the people that work here. The Jewel House staff who have been really kind and shown lots of my guests around, the White, the White Tower staff, all the administrative staff, the cleaning staff, the security staff, um, Bill and Roger on the gate who have let us in many times late at night. Wonderful people here. I will miss the people that make up this community of the Tower of London most. Well, for the future, uh, I'm continuing as Chairman of the Royal Armouries. We've got a big project going uh, on in Leeds and the Department of Culture, Media and Sport has asked me to stay chairing that board for another couple of years, which I shall really enjoy. And then on the 6th of October, um, I've got a book being published, Boots on the Ground, Britain and her army since 1945, and uh, there's a fair amount of work still to be done on that. It's written, but we're in the proofreading stage, sorting out the illustrations, but um, that's an exciting project. So I think I've got plenty to keep myself occupied uh, in the future, but um, maybe a little bit more time for a little bit of golf, that would go down quite well, and a bit of time at home as well.